Most of us want to be slim and healthy, but breaking bad habits is incredibly hard to do. We go on diets which don't work. We buy gym membership, which we never use. And we snack on chocolate and crisps, although we know we shouldn't. The problem isn't knowing what we should do, or even what we want to do. It's sticking with it longer than a couple of weeks. But we're here to help. I've been a medical journalist for many years, and there have been lots of government campaigns exhorting us to eat better and move more. But I want to see if there's a different, possibly better way to change behaviour. To find out, we're going to run a whole range of different experiments throughout this programme to discover some new tricks that could help us all stick to our resolutions and improve our health. To design our test, we've assembled a team of behaviour experts at the Shard in London. Claire MacDonald and Ed Gardner are leading our brainstorm. Mm. If it said, after you've eaten these nachos, you really need to go for an hour <laughs> run, yeah. then that might be something we could explore. It all comes down to understanding why we behave the way we do. Why do you think it is that people just find it incredibly difficult to stick to resolutions? There's lots of reasons, and I think one of them is, is related to what is pulling us to behave in, in a different way. So if it's easier to be inactive or, or eat um, more unhealthily, then we're probably more likely to do that. And we get distracted quite a lot. The way our homes are built, the way we run our lives, they're not always set up to help us act out that new behaviour. And if we are going to do it, we've got to change the way we live. So it's not that we lack the will to be healthier, it's just hard to alter our lifestyles in ways that really stick. But we want to change that. So we've come to Derby to test some of Ed and Claire's ideas on how people can stay motivated. For our first experiment, we've recruited 36 volunteers who all work here at Derby University. Morning all. Hi there. Like most of us, they want to be a bit more active, but find it hard to motivate themselves. Are you kind of conscious of sitting quite a lot during the day? Yeah, definitely. Um, I tried one of the fitness bands for a while and it kind of vibrated when I'd sat for too long. Do you classify yourself as active or a bit inactive? A bit inactive. I'm not very <laughs> active at all, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm trying, but... <laughs> We're hoping to turn trying into triumphing. We're asking our volunteers to put a bit more activity, a bit more oomph into their daily lives. And we're dividing them into three groups because we want to test out three very different motivational techniques and see which, if any of them, works. 